the area of disco. You did quite a good business out of the disco, didn't you? Yes, I did. What we did, uh, we saw the, the benefits of the disco era that kind of like died in the late 70s. However, just because the music and radio kind of like died, uh, that didn't stop it dying in people's hearts and people still enjoy disco music. Mm. People still want to dance, you know, and I saw that as an opportunity to pro provide a forum for people that wanted that kind of thing. Hence me starting my own business. I used to do the clubs and the, the pubs and, you know, you name it, used to be there. How did you discover? Oh, gosh, uh, it was by accident, I think. I think what we was doing, I was playing in a, uh, a, a, a band. I watched a band play. I was invited to go and watch a band play once and I was quite impressed. Uh, and I got into playing the, the drums, started playing drums at first. Uh, and then there was one song that I did have and uh, it was kind of like inspired by the uh, the uh, the track uh, Always and Forever. Your first ever gig, can you remember the first song you ever...